The sister of one of the African migrants who passed away after a boat they were traveling on from Antigua capsized has broken her silence. Nkanga, not her real name, is from Cameroon. Her brother and several other Cameroonians traveled to Antigua late last year on one of the chartered flights commissioned by the Antiguan Barbuda government, but which were later stopped. The government claimed nefarious actors were using these flights in an attempt to traffic persons through the U.S. via the southern border, leaving hundreds of African travelers stranded in Antigua. Ankanka tells the story of her brother while a guest on the web series Phoenix Free Press with host Nikki Phoenix. When, this, <clears throat> when he left, I and my husband and few family, bro family uh, members, we, we went together. We saw off, we traveled to Nigeria, from Nigeria to Atiga. So he has been there for three months. The information he gave me why in Atiga was that they reached there at a the moment when it was their election period that they could not just move easily. That was what he was explaining to me while there. I said, okay, you hold on and see the way forward. He stayed there, stayed there after election. It's like there was really a problem. He refused. He has been there, be there, 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 there. Until this option of using water came up. And Kanga described how she discovered her brother's death. Then Wednesday by noon, a call came in <clears throat> in the afternoon. He gave me the name. He said, oh, I'm the person who was supposed to receive your brother in the U.S. I said, okay. He said, uh, the option of taking the boat was not really the best, even though I never wanted it. He was like, going around, say, but go straight to the pond. What's the issue? Tell me what is happening. The guy said, <clears throat> I just want to let you know that the boat that left Atiga to the US capsized. Your brother is dead. Oh God. Oh God. I was like, God forbid my brother cannot die. My brother cannot die. I dropped the call immediately. SK Newsline understands that the Prime Minister, Dr. Terence Drew, met with Cameroon migrants to learn more about their situation and their desires. It is also understood that the Prime Minister gave an undertaking to reach out to the UN to explore options for assistance for the group. Andre Huey, SKN Newsline.